all good people so we have arrived in Valencia and we're gonna go grab some lunch we already checked into our room but I mean we checked into the hotel but we're waiting for more rooms basically to be done um, so we're gonna go grab some lunch and right now we are actually outside of the Valencia Stadium I don't know what it's called I don't know if it's called the Valencia Stadium Masaya. it's what Masaya. it's called Messiah Mestaya. Well, there we go. There we have it, folks. It's called the Mestaya. Great. Right. Yep. Just like Granada, just like Sevilla, we're just here for one day and then we're off to Barcelona, which is the last destination. So we're like basically a oh, little bit more than halfway done with our vacation at so this point. These two are about to race. Bo had to put on my shoes because his shoes are too big. I'll tell you. Because he forced to get them. These things are too big for me. Like, what? Look at this. Does anyway, you, you about to love someone? You guys ready? On your marks. Uh -uh. Get set. Ready. Ah, come back. I didn't say go. Come back, Jeff. <laughs> Wait. Where do we run? To the end. Right here. Come. You say go when I say go. On your marks. Get set. Try ready. Okay. Fire. Go. So Che and I got the room with the jacuzzi and we were hype. So of course we had to dance and uh, celebrate our victory because uh, mm, let me just show you guys what we were expecting to do in this jacuzzi. You only live once, if you do it right once is enough. So kill them with a smile, bury them with a jacuzzi. Water, water dance. Water dance. 20 minutes later. Yes, peasant. Can you please move? May I help you, peasants? Is there something you need, peasants? I want to see the jacuzzi. Invitation only. <laughs> invitation only. Where's your invite? Where's your invitation? Excuse me. Huh? I am a, a God, God! God! Send him away! Guys, siblings never let you have anything nice. Look at this. Man, don't touch my feet. <laughs> Guys, this is so ghetto. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this, guys. And me too. Like, oh! Ah, the ghetto! The ghetto. The ghetto. Morning, guys! Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to Hmm, you see I don't know whether I should count those half days as a full day one or if the full day should be day one So and I don't really remember how I've done it before Ooh, You see I'm in that limbo You know that limbo after Christmas to New Year where you don't know what day it is what time it is You don't remember anything. You don't know how things go. That's the limbo. I'm in right now. Okay well, welcome to the first full day, the first and the only full day in Valencia. Today we're going to go to the Art and Science building. We're also going to go and uh, see the aquarium. Apparently it's the biggest in Europe, so that's going to be cool. You know, I love, I don't love animals, but I like to see them. I think they're cool. I think they're, you know, I don't like them in my space. And I think we should stay away from each other. But if we can have a space where we're in the same space, but we're away from each other, I think that's pretty cool. I don't like my outfit today. It's not bad, it's not great. And I don't have another t-shirt. This is what I'm wearing. I don't know if you guys can see. But I don't have another t-shirt that will go with this particular skirt without making me look like somebody's auntie. I don't like my hair. I couldn't figure it out. I had a hard time trying to do my hair. I'm running late. My stomach is not as sore as it was before, but it's still feeling kind of sore. I'm just in this awkward place right now. It's really awkward to be me. Like, I don't even know what to tell you. Follow me on Instagram, Benita underscore Danielle, and you'll see some of my outfits and my Instagram. And uh, follow me, subscribe to my channel. You know the vibe you know switch on your post notifications so you know when I post anyway I'm even late recording this intro let's get going peace and love good people Magneto's helmet from X-Men. Like, tell me, you guys do. 
Can you see it? Hey guys, so as I said before, right now we are by the Art and Science buildings here in Valencia and it is so, yo, my mind is so blown, it is so beautiful. There are birds here who just camp on the building which really just adds to the beauty of the place guys. I won't even lie, being here and seeing all these kids smiling and this being in this happy place and it's so big and white and it feels so much bigger than myself. I was in a bad mood before, I was feeling kind of low, I don't know why, I was just feeling kind of down. But I feel so much better now. I feel so... I don't know. I just feel so much better. And now I'm in this space where, and not only now, but this whole trip where I'm trying to find a balance between vlogging and, and, and recording all this stuff and taking pictures and also taking time to be present and in the moment and making sure that I'm really here and I'm really seeing the things that are surrounding me so that I don't just have things on video, but it feels like I was having an out of body experience because I never got to see these things with my own eyes, my eyes looking, touching, feeling, and taking in these buildings with my eyes. So definitely trying to find a, a balance with that. And also I lost my siblings and I lost my family and I don't know where everybody is. I mean, I know we're all here, but I don't know where they are. I don't know where I'm gonna find them. I'm also hoping I can ride one of those like kids bikes things. I don't know how to ride a bicycle, fun fact. So I'm just trying to like, hopefully I can get like a scooter or like those, scooter or, like, those little kid things where they sit. Otherwise I'll just walk, yeah. In case you didn't know, this is how we do it in Valencia. Here, we ride dirty. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. We ride dirty. Look at this. All day. for you ask peasant what is the greatest lesson you've learned in 2019 oh wow so deep <laughs> um, I think the, the greatest lesson I've learned is that no matter it may sound corny but no matter how tough things get no matter how hard it gets keep going keep persevering and yeah we'll end up working out at the end of the day you know so oh and celebrate every victory when life is challenging you sometimes you need to hold on to those small moments to keep you going celebrate every little victory give yourself credit don't let those things take you down like you know credit yourself for the things that you've done right you know don't always focus on what you couldn't do or the misfortunes that have happened you know and you know that that's the kind of thing that allows you to keep going and to stay inspired Man, thanks. Great man, Charles. Thanks, bro. Can we get a picture? Where are you off to next? Charlie, Charlie, where are you off to next? <laughs> So we're done at the Arts and Science Museum. We didn't get to go inside because like I said, general consensus didn't want to go inside. But the thing is, it was so much fun. We didn't go inside, but being outside in that space, looking around, you could just sit, you could just breathe. It was a lot of fun. Right now we're gonna go to the, what's it called? The aquarium. So the, apparently the aquarium is the biggest one here in Europe. So it's gonna be fun. It's one of the biggest here in Europe according to Che. So should be a lot of fun. I'm hyped. I'm looking forward to it. I feel like a rich auntie today in my white and brown. Got my sunglasses and everything when there's no sun out. You know how rich aunties do. You know the vibes. So, main man Che. Yes. What's the greatest lesson you've learned this year? That um, that you must always think things to your existence and 
you if you believe you can achieve what you need to achieve and you must always work hard even if you are struggling you must always try and you must practice no matter what uh, in what situation you're in you must always pray or you must work hard you must just try your best and you will let you. We got some ice cream. I'm facing the sun for some light, so like I'm struggling to keep my eyes open. But if there's something I can say, after having traveled like through different parts of Spain, the ice cream here slaps. And it slaps hard. And it slaps different. And I don't understand why. I don't know what is the reason, the purpose, the intention. Is it for weight gain? Is it for calories? Is it for the vibes? Is it for the babies? I don't know. But, whew, child, I'm grateful. interrupt this program to bring you a special report my mind can't help but wonder though i watch too many movies like what if something happens and then the, the glass cracks and then it opens and then and then all the water comes out and then all the animals are there and then like we're stuck there for like a hundred years like jumanji or something anyway i'm just saying i really hope it doesn't happen <laughs> I'm back in my room now and I am so exhausted. Let me tell you what happened. So we had to leave the dolphin show early. It started at 5. We left at like 5.20. Um, and the people at the dolphin show, they spoke for a good 20 minutes in Spanish. So I had no idea what they were saying like before 5. Anyway, we had to leave the dolphin show early. But it was a lot of fun. It was so interesting to see. Dolphins are like, they're so cute and they're so smart and they look so sweet. You know what I mean? They look like that attention-seeking cousin, you know, at parties like that one where they give you snacks and then like they'll dance and whatever at all the family events. Hold on, my bad. Yeah, that's what dolphins like seem like. But it was honestly such a great show. It was it was very cool. And they, at the beginning of the show, they showed how they take care of animals there and what they do and stuff like that and how they don't harm them and stuff. So I thought that was very cool. Um, anyway, so after we left the show, we left the show at um, 5.20 because we wanted to be in time to catch the, the bus. We're using Hop on Hop Off. In Valencia, however, different to all the other ones, there's no person. So the other ones normally have a person in the bus where they'll announce the stops, you know, and um, you can ask them any questions. And they normally speak English. Valencia does not have any of that. There's no human inside the bus. They don't announce the stop. You have to look outside to see what number is written on the sign for you to know what stop you're stopping at. Anyway so we go back um, to go and catch the hop on hop, hop off and around it's it's at this point it's around I think 6 p.m. so we get there and it turns out that the last bus was there at 4 30 so we've missed the bus 6 p.m. we're at the bus stop the last bus was we gotta get back um, so cool what are we gonna do uber let's call uber turns out uber is not available in this region <laughs> so now we've got to catch a taxi cool we get a taxi but of course there we're a family of six we're not going to fit inside one taxi so we have to split um into two different ubers guys let me tell you in spain they drive crazy yo guys whoo 
they drive so crazy into two different cars and um, I would say it was around two minutes apart or so we ended up in two different places we couldn't find each other so the people in the first car ended up taking um, they never got out their taxi somehow the people in the second car us I was, I was part of that we left after them but we arrived at the said area first so now we get there and we can't find who arm switch wow we can't find the people in the first car cool so we're trying to find each other they, oh, so we got off our, our, our taxi already and then they're trying to find us now and they can't find us so um they decide they can actually go back to the hotel now there we are we just spent money on a cab and we're like damn we're not uh, what are we gonna do are we gonna spend money on another cab but then the hotel doesn't seem that far so we're like you know what it's fine let's just let's just we're gonna walk so at first we're walking and then we ask directions in the street people don't speak english and stuff like that um and then eventually we're like you know what let's just use google maps when we decided to use google maps i was the one who led us back to the hotel using google maps and the yeah. girl now why do i feel the need to highlight this because i suck at direction like i'm not the girl for direction even with google maps i especially the walking one i'm really bad at reading it when people tell me directions it comes in here it goes out here switch it goes out here because i'm very bad with direction i feel like it just doesn't click for me i just can't i just can't remember it but anyway i'm the girl okay i'm the girl Tomorrow we're leaving for Barcelona, which is our very last stop in the trip. So we're gonna go back. So we're gonna go to Barcelona, back to South Africa, and I'll be there for a week, and then back. I'll go back to America. So basically, at this point, I just live out of a suitcase, honestly. But I like it. I love traveling. I love being in different places. Honestly, I could do it as a career. I think um, if it was possible for me, you know, like those families that travel together, I would do that. You know, but except I like nice things and luxury, so I don't want to stay in a van. But anyway, we're not gonna we're gonna we're gonna go out to eat to dinner now, and this is where I'm gonna close off the vlog. I'm probably gonna go into the jacuzzi because I have a private jacuzzi in my room. I'm the rich auntie. I always say I'm the rich auntie. I am somebody's rich wife, somebody's rich mother, somebody's rich auntie, somebody's rich rich client, somebody's rich neighbor. I am somebody rich, guys. Like I have so much money you can't even you can't even put into words how rich I am switch I am one of the richest women in the world self-made made by God but otherwise self-made um, but yeah I'm just I'm just I'm super rich I'm a very rich woman businesswoman you know motivational speaker philanthropist you know humanitarian all those things that's me speaking it into existence speaking life into existence but this is where i'm going to close off the vlog if you haven't already don't forget to comment like share and subscribe peace and love